Juan to Noche and a Beyond. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivity. Well, Kevin Love has dramatically improved his perimeter shooting over his career, but he said, I've tried not to fall in love with it too much. Where I'm going to make my money is also rebounding. Part of a DA thing stacking up over the past several months for Drummond. But we're just not seeing that same fierceness out of pack on that end of the floor. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Coming in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Magic, at the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Fournier out there with Fultz, and it's Isaac in at the three. Now, here's Garland. Weeks, which team jumps out, and which coaching staffs have done a great job preparing their, their team coming out of camp. Now, we know the teams can't fall off, Kevin. The talent will catch up. Other Mid Ranger is going to be an easy shot for him when he's got that much of a size advantage. Two of faults. When he's taking it inside, he's aiming. To that is his first foul. Yes, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This big legged forward who just devastates the defense with his speed. Tied first of the game for the Cavaliers. A new group on the floor for Orlando. And the Cavaliers with some their last five baskets in transition. Bounce. It was last touch by Bamba. No clue. <laughs> Magic lead by four. 2K Sports. Back in a moment. We welcome you back to Noche Latina. Becoming an end from Orlando, what do you guys see? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust. Consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Timeout called the game. Well, you, you talk about physical gifts. Mo Bamba, a seven-footer with the longest wingspan, seven, nine and a half, and that gives him a huge sphere of influence. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And how about the numbers on Andre? Up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. And that bucket adds to what has. Been. I really like the awareness from Fultz. It has an Wide open look. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Orlando Magic. 13 points up at the end. Kevin, thank you. Aaron, you all have played at a high level so far. What has worked for you? We're just sticking to the game plan. You know, uh, our coaches really drew up something good for us. You know, they wrote it out, and we're sticking to it, and we're executing very well. Yeah, that's obvious the way you all have played. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. At the end of the period, they held a four-point lead. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. Shaq, what'd you think about the Magic? Well, it was an unselfish team-oriented half of basketball. The ball never stopped moving. Their offense had a great flow to it. It prevented anyone from getting lazy out there. They're always moving, cutting, knowing where they need to pass the ball. Or... For the first half, some of it was poor shot selection, but mostly it just looked like they were out of rhythm. For the second half, they need to push. Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with Andre Drummond. 
and the crisp passing has opened things up for them for the block. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. Big group substitution here for Cleveland. JaVale McGee's position, the end-to-end -end speed and explosive athleticism of a And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. So it's Orlando with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. From the field, they are shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right after this. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad we know Greg is peripheral vision. 